Hello guys, we're doing great and welcome back to TechFit channel. Technology for everybody. Today, we want to install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS and we have a step-by-step -step guide for everybody. So let's go ahead and let's see what we have. Well, to install Ubuntu, we need a USB flash drive at least four gigabytes or more than this. We need the Rufu software and we need Ubuntu image or ISO or ISO file. First, we have to go to ubuntu.com and here we have to click on download and here you can see we have diversity of versions but the best one for us is Ubuntu desktop and the best version exactly for installing is this one LTS long support actually it's a long support version and currently we have 20.04 so click on these to download now our download is going to start okay this is our Ubuntu image file or ISO file now we have to go to Rufus.ie Rufus is a software that can help us to make a boot table of Ubuntu on a USB flash drive so after that we can install Ubuntu using a flash drive really fast okay here we have to download Rufus the best version is portable so click on this download Rufus okay now we have Rufus and Ubuntu image so you have to open Rufus and you don't need to install it because this is a portal version and you can open it without installing and now you have to plug your USB flash drive into your computer and now you have to click on select and select your Ubuntu image and open it and now click on start and click on OK and yes well this is about your data in this process we're gonna format USB flash drive so if you have a file before this process you have to copy all files to another drive and other memory because we're going to format it so click on ok to format flash drive and now our flash drive is ready to install ubuntu and we have to restart our computer and press boot menu key but before restarting if you don't know your boot menu key you have to search it on google for instance i have an asus laptop or i have an hp laptop i can search something like that hp boot menu key and then I can find out this key is for my HP laptop or my HP PC or something like that and you can search for yourself and find your key and then I have to restart my computer click on restart okay after pressing boot menu key you can see my boot menu and 
you can see USB disk 11.0.0 and UEFI USB disk 11.0.0 you can install your Ubuntu with both of them but it depends on your computer maybe your computers cannot actually use UEFI and this one is the better way okay just click on this and press enter okay this is Ubuntu setup and here we have language and I choose English and here we have try Ubuntu try Ubuntu is a kind of portable version of Ubuntu and if you haven't seen Ubuntu environment before you can use try Ubuntu to know Ubuntu more than this and this is a portable version that you can see Ubuntu without installation and here we have install Ubuntu to continue our installation we have to click on install Ubuntu and here we have keyboard layout if you, if you want another language for your keyboard or something like that you can choose it here I don't want it actually I just want English so I'm gonna click on continue here we have normal installation and minimal installation in normal installation we have web browser and we have office software or something like that and this is not really a lightweight operating system but if you want a lightweight operating system for I don't know an old computer or something like that you can use minimal installation another option we have here is download updates while installing a moto so you need the internet to do that and also we need to install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi and hardware and so forth okay this option is it's a good idea you have to click on it and also click on continue okay here we have raised disk and install Ubuntu this is a good idea when you have an empty uh, memory but if you have I don't know data on your memory you have to choose something else okay and click on continue here as you can see I have a free memory and I don't have any data but uh, I want to create I want to make some partitions for my Ubuntu Linux that you're required for Ubuntu Linux and new partition table click on this okay click on continue and here I have free space 112 gigabytes double click on free space first of all we need the swap area swap area is a kind of virtual RAM RAM for your computer and it's a really good idea you just need two times bigger than your or your harder RAM for instance I have one gigabyte RAM so I'm gonna choose 2000 megabytes just that and click on OK and here I have free space another thing that I really need is a boot area something about 500 megabytes something like that and another thing that I really need is is a slash actually slash area for my computer I think 30 gigabytes is enough and 30 gigabytes is 30,000 megabytes okay 
and here I have to use uh, area free area that I have now for home okay now I have my standard partitions for my Ubuntu Linux so now I have to click on install now click on continue to install here I have to choose my area something like that click on continue my name actually and my password password is so important make sure you have a good one and here require my passport to log in this is a good option you have to choose and click on continue to install Ubuntu now click on restart now and our installation complete okay this is our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS